Hi all, welcome to my channel Suri Sessions. Today, uh, let's discuss about another few important topics with regards to the union operator, union all, and also on the null values, how we are going to use the operators and what functions we could use for this. So I think uh, union operator is one of the key operator which we use in the select statements. I think to give you an overview, uh, there were two commands uh, which are union and union all. Uh, what does union do? Union actually combines data from multiple select statements. So we can combine set of columns from two or more select statements where it will only return the distinct values without retaining any duplicates. Say for example, if uh, one of the table having duplicate records, it will only list out one record when you combine the data. And most important thing is when you are doing unioning between two or more select commands, the columns order and the columns data type should be same. Otherwise, uh, it will throw an error like say for example, if you are trying to combine a column which is of uh, having a characters and against a number, you can't do that. You should have the same data type. And now coming to the next operator, union all. It is again a similar to union operator. It will do everything union does. And most importantly, it will also retain the duplicate values. So wherever you have duplicate values in the select statements, it will pop them up so that the output will contain the duplicate values. So in real time, you will see some instances where you want to combine data from more than one table for aggregation or if you want to compare the data sets you can always do that using union and union all command. And now let's come to the other important topic on the null values. So what are null values? I'm sure you might be familiar with null. Usually null means it's nothing. So basically it denotes there is no value in the field. So whenever you wanted to see, whenever you wanted to uh, state that, okay, this particular field does not contain any value either they missed it or it doesn't return anywhere you can always define that as a null and and importantly it will only apply to optional and non-nullable fields you remember when you are primary key you always define it as not null so you can't make that column as null so it will only applies to non-primary keys which are nullable so how do you actually check whether the column is null? For that, uh, SQL has provided us with a couple of uh, operators. The first one is is null. So what is null does is it will return all the records where the column is set to null. So you can use is null in your select statement. Say for example, you using the where clause, you can say where column is null. That means wherever the column value is set to null, it's going to return all those records. And similarly, the opposite to that is, is not null. This will only return the records where column does not contain any null values. So using these two operators, we could actually play around with select statements. And now about functions. Imagine in your particular uh, select statement and the particular table may contain null values, but when you are displaying that as an output, you don't want to show them as null for you more user friendliness and especially when you want to show this as a report to any stakeholders you don't like to show the null values when they see the reporting so to avoid that you can actually replace them with a value of your choice so in order to do that we have couple of functions one is is null and second one is coles i think the naming is different but the functionality for both is actually same so what they both does is you can actually specify within that function what value you would like to be returned when the column is set to null. So using the is null command, you can say that is null in the function, you can say column name, comma, what value you want to be substituted if it is null. So likewise, since we are primarily talking about ANSI SQL and SQL Server, we can use these two commands. But if you are working on other SQL flavors like Oracle, you can use NVL and similarly if you are using MySQL, you can use if null. So likewise, each uh, flavor will have different commands, but universally coalesce applies to all flavors. So you can always use coalesce. 
so in a nutshell like this is how uh, we define union union all and null values so since we have a glimpse of what these will do let's play around in practical way and see how we can play around with these commands shortly okay let's check the tables we have and how we can actually play around the union and null operators so to start with we got two tables which are nearly identical so i have created them and i have populated the respective data in order to make our life easy so you could see the first table is of customers we have customer id customer name address city and country and similarly we got uh, customers one which is of same column names but it has got one extra record so now what it does what it does was when you do union all what will happen is if you say for example union all can be done on one column or more than one column or at the table level if you feel that both the columns are of same data type and in same order as we discussed so when you do this for example you are actually defining select whatever column names you would like to view from table one and you are using union all in the syntax and you are repeating it for the table two so when i run this what will happen it's going to combine all these four plus five it, it's going to show me nine records because union all always displays duplicate records so when you see this yes you could see nine records you could see customer id one two three four and the customer name and city from table one and similarly similarly customer id one two five from table two you could clearly see like there were some duplicates which are being displayed here so now let's see the same uh, column names what will happen if you use the union command so when you use the union command as we already learned it's going to wipe out all the duplicate values so when you do this you could only see five distinct records so there are no repetition for customer id 1 2 3 and 4 which are common between customers and customers 1 so likewise you can actually filter out the duplicate values if you don't want to see the duplicate values you can always use union command so instead of mentioning the column names if you are confident enough with the column order and data types you can actually use star as well the same command if i want to list out all the values i could simply say select star from table one union all select star from table two when i execute this you could see we are seeing all the nine records including the duplicate values and similarly if i do union command i could see it displays only five records as we already seen and these are all unique values so likewise you can play around union and union all based on the number of columns you would like to see or at all columns level Ho hope you're clear with this so let's move on with the null values so as i said null values can be set at any column level except the primary key say for example now let's see what uh, we have in the sales table so when i do select star from sales it's going to show me eight records you could see there are some null values in the product name and quantity columns so now let's play around with the operators we have just learned about is null and is not null and try to use them in the select statement so what we can do is like say for example you don't want to see any record where product name is null so it's it's pretty straightforward you are going to do select star from table name which is sales here and using the where clause we are defining column name is null so here i would like to see only the values which having product name is null so if you want to see from sales table what all data set is set to null when you run this command you could see how many rows so you could only see one row so let's see what will happen yes it is it is showing up sales id 7 does contain null value in product name column so now in the other way i don't want to view any null records under product name can you please show me the output which does not contain null value in the product name so for that similar to the other command select star from table name where column name is not null so let's do this when you do that you could see the record with 
product name is null is no longer being shown however we could see record 7 does contain null value but not at product name so you if you don't want to view that also you can always say where product name is not null and quantity is not null so when you run this command ideally it should also remove the record 7 yes it is so likewise you can play around based on the number of columns and your output criteria you can use that and now let's discuss about the functions so why do we need functions as we already discussed we would like to see we want to replace that in the output instead of nulls we wanted to see some values say for example when you run this command you could see null values in product name and quantity now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to do use the functions as we already learned coalesce and is null will do the same thing but of different names so what i'm going to do is for the same select command which we see in output instead of being displayed as null values i am trying to override them with my customized value so what i'm going to do so i'm going to do select sales id i don't want to override since it's a primary key comma i'm using coalesce function here so i'm using coalesce parenthesis and that column one in this case product name so i wanted to see whenever i see null value in the product name i just want that to be replaced with not known as product name i'm doing an aliasing so similarly i'm using the is null function so whenever i see quantity set to null i would like to replace that with zero which is at least realistic and it's of integer so when i run this command what will happen is it will override the null values so you could see for row number seven product name is no longer null it is replaced with not none and similarly row number eight the quantity is replaced with zero so likewise you can use coalesce is null and you can use is null is not null operators depending on your requirement so i hope the session is clear so please uh, practice and that's the only way we can learn and hope you like this video please do like share and subscribe our channel signing off sorry thank you